Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a follow path animation with your camera that tracks to an object and also follows the curve so you get a smooth camera angle. So this is what we made today. It's sort of this over the shoulder look following our character. It's not the smoothest, but I made this in like five minutes. So you can always do some tweaks later to smooth it out and add some subdivisions to your curve, which will help. I've also used it to get these camera angles, this arcing one, and then that zoom. So this is a really useful tool that you will want to use. But yeah, let's get straight into it. So I'm gonna do it all from scratch and show you along the way and explain it. So I'll hit Shift A, search for a camera right here. And now we have our camera. I'll press Control Zero on the number pad to make it the active camera. If you don't have a number pad, you can simply right click and hit Set Active Camera with it selected. And then you're good. And now you have your camera view. So next step is going to be adding our curve and we're gonna have it go the same path as our object or character. So Currently, I have this curve set up, but I'm going to make it from scratch just so that you can see the brand new one. I'm going to hit Shift A, search for a curve, and go to a Bezier curve. You can use whatever curve you want, like a circle, but we'll just use this for now. Now I'm going to go to Top View real quick, and as we can see, I'm going to go to Solid View just so we can see a little better. Now I'm going to grab it and find our character, go into Edit Mode, and I will grab this here, and then I'll simply make the path in this orthographic view on the top, and then I'll go back in afterwards and do it on the Z axis. So let's grab it out. We already know he's moving along this curve and we can drag our animation a little further this way. See where he is. He's over there now, let's extrude. And we can use R to rotate, go a little further. Extrude, oh, that's rotate, extrude here. Rotate a little more, grab him up, oh, out of high, grab him over here. Grab this over here. We can scale things up too, or down, however we need to. And then let's rotate this guy. Extrude one last time. And then one last rotation. And then one rotation here. And we have our over the shoulder shot set up. Now, I'm gonna do the same thing on the Z axis. So to make sure that we are actually above him at all times. And let's go over here. Let's zoom in on these two vertices. And as we can see, we are above his shoulder right now. That is good. Um, I'm actually going to need to rotate this guy because it's not straight on the start. There we go. And then let's grab him right here and go forward in the animation. Go over to this vertice, grab and Z down a little bit, then go forward in the animation more. Go forward this way, grab and whoop, grab and Z right over the shoulder and then a little further forwards move him down a little bit go to the end just like this and move him down so now that we have our curve set up we can go back to select our camera and so i'll go zero select him right here and then i will go to constraints my constraint follow path to select the path we're just going to select our curve and so to do that, I'm going to go back to our scene over here and so we can see it. And it's this top one right there. So I'll use the eyedropper, select your curve. And that will put your camera on the curve. And the problem is, if it doesn't show up immediately, it's because your camera's transform isn't set. But you go to your camera, select it, press Alt-G, Alt-R, and Alt-S. That will reset your position at the beginning of the curve. So now you have to decide where you want to be looking. So I'm going to rotate X, let's say 90. Rotate Z 180 degrees, so we're facing the direction of the curve, like so. So if we go back to the beginning, let's say we want to start our animation here. Or if we go to offset, we can move backwards and forwards like this, and he'll move forwards and back. So we'll keyframe the offset where we want to start, and then we want to end up at the end at the same time as he is. So we'll go to the end of his animation right here, and then we'll end up at the end with our camera all the way over here. If we go to our camera view, we can see that we are following the path, but we're a little bit too fast and the rotation isn't where we want it to be. So we've actually are probably gonna to need to move these keyframes a little bit further down to the right so that we can see, we wanna start probably moving right here. So let's put the start keyframe here. So when we play it, we are following him, but the problem is the rotation is bad. So let's fix that. And to do that, we're simply going to use a track two. And I'm going to hit Shift A. I'm going to add ourselves an empty. And what this will do is it will also have a follow path constraint on the curve, but it's going to be moving a little bit further in front of the camera. 
So, add another follow path constraint, eye dropper, select the curve on the top, put the same one as the camera, and then we'll start the animation. Oh, wait, we'll Alt G, R, R, same as everything else. And let's keyframe eye on the offset to keyframe it. Then we can go a little bit forwards. That's when the camera starts moving. So we want to make sure we are in front of the camera, like so. And then we also are going to displace them a little bit downwards on the Z. So grab and Z, just like that. And then on our camera, go to your constraints, select a track to, track to your object, just like this, and select your empty. So if I hit zero now, as we can see, no matter where we go, the camera is always looking at the empty. So now we just have to animate the empty along the path and everything will be fine. So at the end of the animation, we want to make sure that we are along the path. So to the end of it, right here, let's move our empty forwards like this, just like that. And then we can press I on the offset, just like so. So now if we go to our camera view, I'll go back to rendered preview and turn off the wireframes. We can see that we are following in an over the shoulder view. It's not perfect, but it can be slightly tweaked later on. But yeah, I just wanted to make this quick tutorial on how to use the follow path modifier with your camera and the track two constraint to get nice, smooth camera angles. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.